Hey Cancer, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm coming to you with your general love reading for February 2021. We're going to see what's happening for you in love. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's general, so it won't resonate with every Cancer out there. Take what resonates, leave the rest, check out your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus sign. Um, so what I want to say. Um, if you want a personal love reading, check me out. The link is in the description box. And also, um, you can buy a personal love reading on my Etsy shop as well as some Oracle decks. I will be using this one here, Sacred Signs and Symbols for your messages today. But I also have another one called Epiphany. Um, I just changed the face. I've used it before on my channel, um, but it is on sale for the month of February. So check it out if you guys are interested. All right. Um, and I also have mood rings and other mystical goodies, healing chakra, beaded ne uh, bracelets, and a Methodist necklaces. So check it out if you're interested. All right, let's jump right into reading. I'm going to start off with the sacred signs and symbols. Again, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I will also have your extended bonus reading up on Vimeo for February 1st through the 10th, okay? It will be entitled, How Does Your Person Feel? What's Going On With Your Person? What's in their feelings, emotions? What are they not saying? How do they want to move forward? And then what's going on behind the scenes? What are the blocks? What is causing you guys to be at a distance from each other in the outcome? And I also will get some messages, some unspoken messages from your person, my other Oracle deck, okay? And some healing love advice. So check that out, okay? All right, Cancer, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. What's going on with my Cancer out there? Spirit, angels, guardians, guys. What messages do we have for Cancer? Some advising Venus, please. Okay. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate your love and support. Ooh, okay. So we got the chipped paint, okay? Um, imperfections, flaws, layers. So this connection, whoever you're connecting with, it has a lot of layers to it, okay? I feel like it's not just... It's just, it ain't just any um old connection, okay? I do feel like this is someone or someone that you've been connected with. And I feel like you guys have a lot of history with each other. I feel like there there's a lot of imperfections here, okay? Um, it's very, it's far from perfect, okay? But you are definitely still dealing with this person in some way, Cancer, okay? Some of you guys, you may be in a codependent relationship with this person. All right, that one came out, flew out. So chip paint. Some of you guys are doing some house projects, okay? I don't know if you guys are working on your home during some downtime cancer. Um, we also have letter in a bottle, okay? So your person may be wanting to reach out to you. There may be some unspoken words here, okay? Love notes, okay? This is someone who may be wanting to send you a message, but they can't go ahead and press send, okay? It's like this is someone who may be thinking about you, cancer, but they are holding back they can't seem to reach out okay all right we also have tools okay fix repair rebuild construction so there may be someone here um who wants to rebuild a connection here with you i do feel like right now in the works maybe you guys are repairing you're trying to fix or um close up some loose ends with this person i do feel like there's some kind of amending okay maybe you guys have been um on and off in communication with this person some days are good some days are bad right it's far from perfect but i do see that there's some love here still okay all right let's see mirror okay reflection mirroring self-awareness so cancer i feel like you guys may be very spiritual i do feel like there's a sense of awareness that you're becoming uh aware of yourself okay aware of this journey that you're on um but i also feel like whoever you're connecting with there is some kind of mirroring energy going on i feel like you're showing them themselves okay they're allowing you're allowing this person to see themselves maybe see some of the flaws in their ways some of their imperfections some of their faults, okay? This is someone who may not have admitted that they were wrong in the past. And I feel that now you are allowing your person to see themselves, okay? For who they truly are and what they are or what, they, what they've revealed to you, okay? All right, let's get one more. Oops, one more card here, please. All 
All right, we have the curtains, concealing, hiding behind the scenes. So there's a lot that's going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of cancer with regard to this person. I do feel like they're hiding their identity, okay? They don't want something to be known. Um, this is someone who's like kind of incognito. They're concealing. They're, they're repressing their emotions or feelings from you. Um, they don't want something to be known, okay? So it could be a very secretive person that you're connecting with cancer. All right, let's see what's happening for Cancer, Sun and Rising and Venus. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Your bonus reading will be up on Vimeo, okay? Link is in the description box, February 1st through the 10th. All right, what's the current energy surrounding Cancer and love, please? Ooh, okay. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Leo, Sag, Aries. So the energy surrounding you and this person is that someone has pulled back, okay? I feel like this could be your energy cancer. You may have pulled back because you're no longer confident that something can move forward right now. Um, You're having some doubts about this connection, okay? I do feel like whoever you're dealing with, I feel like you had potential. There was potential here. I do feel like um the challenge is to be able to come together and work together, right? Um, I feel like someone is resisting the connection or just doesn't have... They've lost the passion, okay? Maybe this is you, Cancer. Someone has lost the passion and no longer in putting in energy and effort into moving this forward. Um, it could have been a Queen of Wands, okay? A third party here for some of you guys. A Leo, a Sag, and Aries, or someone that your person was dealing with, okay? And that could have been the block in this connection with this person, okay? There is three of pentacles. It could be a third party. But for the majority of you guys, I do feel like the challenge is for you guys to come together, to collaborate, to work as a team. Some of you guys are co-parenting with this person that you're connecting with, okay? Now, in the past is the Knight of Wands. So I feel like there's been a lot of unstable energy, right? There's been ins and outs. There's been ons and off. Um, whoever you're dealing with, I feel like... They've always had one foot in, one foot out, right? And I feel like they've been very unreliable. It's like they'll say things and they'll make promises, but they actually won't follow through with them, okay? So I feel like, Cancer, you're losing confidence in this person or you feel like you can't trust this person. You feel like, especially with that night energy, you feel like you deserve so much more, okay? This person hasn't been taking the right action towards you, okay? This, the fool came out in reverse. It could be an Aries that you're connecting with. But I really feel like some of you guys, you feel foolish for dealing with this person because they have not shown you that they're going to be that stable force, that stable person in your life, okay? And that fool in reverse is telling me that there hasn't really been efforts, okay, to um, take ownership of the connection by your person, um, there could be some serious trust issues that you have with this person as well. Um, I feel like there's something in the past that may have um, caused you to pull back or withdraw. Okay, I'm getting a withdrawal energy. But yeah, definitely some trust issues. There'll be a risk. There's a big risk here in, in continuing to believe that this person is going to do right by you. So Cancer, let's see what's on your mind. Yeah, so the Six of Wands came out in reverse, so I do feel like there's a big letdown here, okay? There's something here that you feel is a failure, and um, I feel like it's because of your person. I feel like they've really disappointed you, okay? And I feel like you are no longer um, feeling like something here is going to be victorious, okay? Um, also, I see Cancer that you're pulling back, okay? We got the emotional withdrawal as well. Okay, so I do feel like not only you're putting in less energy and effort, but you're also emotionally closing off to this person. Because certainly, you know, if you are keeping yourself available to this person and being vulnerable, you're allowing your person, you're allowing your yourself to be hurt. Okay, so I do feel like it's a protective mechanism. You guys are being closed off and you're no longer relying on this person to make you happy. Now, in your person's energy is the tower, okay? In the reverse, okay, some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio. I feel like they're avoiding something here with you. They're avoiding some kind of change. They're avoiding commitment. They're avoiding communication. They're avoiding reaching out. There's something that your person is avoiding. And I feel like it's causing some kind of devastation or some kind of big change in their life, okay? I feel like your person, Cancer, has been... <laughs> the judgment card came out in reverse your person hasn't been doing the right thing okay um and i feel like they've been not taking ownership of their part in this downfall of the connection they have not been a responsible person maybe they haven't even been responsive okay but the judgment in reverse is telling me there's been some bad decisions bad choices okay i feel like there was an opportunity presented to this person from you cancer and 
they they didn't make the right decision okay they didn't make the right choice they did not exercise good judgment with regard to you okay they could have done things that have disappointed you i'm getting bad behavior things that were immature and reckless with the full card okay all right let's see we also have the five of wands in reverse so I do feel like your person is realizing that the people they come, the people that they are surrounded by may certainly contribute to this reckless activity that they engage in. Okay, I'm getting like family, I'm getting friends, I'm getting third parties, okay? This is the people that they keep around is I'm getting low vibrational or cause some kind of drama, okay? I also feel like your person has a lot of um baggage okay we got imperfections layers but there's a lot of layers to this person i'm getting a lot of past energy past life or wounds that this person has gone through or holding on to and it causes them to act the way they act okay so coming into the moment let's see what is going on the world in reverse so there's still some um there's some karma here for sure okay with the tower the judgment and the world all in reverse i mean come on cancer whoever you're dealing with has definitely they're in denial okay they are they're troubled okay and i do feel like something is going to continue to be delayed and continue to not work out in their best interest and a favorable outcome for them if they continue to ignore doing the work okay i do feel like the world universe is telling me there is still some blocks here Something still cannot come together just yet, okay? This is something here that may be divinely orchestrated. I feel like the nudge ugh, the nudge is coming from the universe to this person. Okay, rather, the universe is nudging your person, right? It's a better way to say it. <laughs> the universe is nudging your person to make some kind of change in their life, okay? And they've been avoiding this. The two of swords, um, there's a decision that has to be made here, okay? Coming into the moment. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. I'm going to start calling out the signs. Um, You know, there's a decision here. Either you or your person has to make and someone is avoiding making it or feeling like they don't have all the information, okay? There's a lot of unsettling energy as well with the tower, the judgment, the world. Um, And I also see that your person is not communicating, okay? There could have been some uh, piss poor communication, lack of communication between you guys. It also could have been some verbal arguments that has caused you guys to distance yourself from this person, Cancer, I feel like your person has to do the right thing, and I don't feel like right now they're ready to. Again, the challenge is for you guys to cooperate, to cope, to, uh, maybe co-parent. Some of you guys are co-parenting. Um, to cooperate and to come together is what I wanted to say. Okay, let's see. The sun, ooh, beautiful. So the sun is the most positive, beautiful card in the tarot deck, right? It's enlightenment, it's clarity. There's some kind of healing taking place, but also you're gonna find your happiness, Cancer, one way or the other, okay? Is there something here that's gonna make you happy? Something could be, um, this could be some kind of big enlightenment that's coming through to, to you as well, okay? And it's gonna make you feel fulfilled. It's gonna bring home harmony to your life, okay? All right, so Cancer, let's get some clarity here. All right, I'm going to use the Morgan Greer. I'm sorry. I was <laughs> I was deciding which deck I wanted to use. All right, so if this resonates for you, go ahead. Like, share, comment, subscribe. If you like my tarot reading style, maybe you want me to do more cancer readings, go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out your bonus reading up on Vimeo, February 1st through the 10th. How does your person feel? What's in their emotions, feelings? What are they not saying? How do they want to move forward? And what's going on behind the scenes as well as the outcome? And I've also added some unspoken love messages, okay? And some healing love advice for you, Cancer. All right, let's see. Queen of Wands in reverse with the Three of Pentacles. So, Cancer, I think you were right for pulling back, okay? Because they weren't really nurturing you. They weren't putting you first, okay? I do feel like they weren't they weren't doing the right thing. You are the Empress, Cancer. Male and female, doesn't matter. But there's a situation that wasn't being nurtured, that wasn't really being properly taken care of, okay? I feel like someone was being negligent. Your person was neglecting you. Neglecting this love that you guys have. And the challenge was to be able to come together. Three of Pentacles in verse, again. So, yeah, I feel like this person was wishy-washy. I also feel like they could have been juggling another person, a third party. It could be a Queen of Wands. We got the Empress. I feel like it could be someone that they have a child with, okay? In the recent past, we do got the full in reverse. Ooh, what is going on? All right, let's try this again. The full in reverse with the Knight of Wands. I don't like it one bit because this person is very, um, they're, it's like they're acting very immature and innocent, okay? Um, and they're very impulsive with this Knight of Wands. They come and go. 
they're unreliable, unreliable, um, and just not really trustworthy. And I think you've picked that up, okay? And the two of wands in reverse is telling me that you no longer look at this person as an option, okay? You've kind of given up on this person, and that's where the pullback comes from, Cancer, okay? Because at one point, you've been waiting, you've been wanting this person to make a decision, but I feel like they haven't made the right decision. They've made a series of poor decisions, okay, which has caused this tower moment in their energy, so I do feel cancer, the six of wands in verse and the knight of cups in verse. You guys are hurt, but you are deciding to move into calmer waters. You're trying to um, find peace in your life. Okay, you're really big on uh, peace and harmony. Okay, and you're, you're, you're wanting that right now. Okay, and the knight of cups in verse is telling me you're emotionally closing off and distancing yourself from this person right now. Okay, so that you can get your life back. Okay, and unfortunately, this situation isn't really looking at looking like it's going to plan out well for you with the six of wands in verse you just feel like there's something here that's just not going to be victorious so let's see the judgment the tower and the five of wands what's going on with your person in the environment Ooh, the judgment so they are ready to make a decision your person is thinking about what decision what decision well what should they make regarding this decision there's some kind of choice here they have okay with the two of swords and there is some kind of conflict regarding this decision, okay? And I feel like with the Tower in the verse, I feel like they could be waiting for something to settle, maybe the dust to settle, for things to um be clear. They could be feeling blindfolded on on regarding this, okay? Let's see, let's get one more card. Yeah, the world in reverse. There's something that's keeping them stuck in the past. I feel like there's some kind of karmic cycle your person may be tied to as well. Okay, it could be with a past person. I'm getting there's some external influences for sure. That is um, causing a delay in your person making a decision. But your person is definitely going through a rough time with the tower, scorpion energy. And coming into the moment, we do got the page of pentacles. So I do feel eventually your person will extend a, um, an offer here, okay? The page is typically, it's a message. It could be a phone call. It could be reaching out. But ultimately, it's to see where you guys stand, okay? It's regarding some kind of stability, okay? Um, let's see. The two of swords. Okay, so your person will be making a decision and it's regarding um, their investments in, in this connection or the way that they've been um, treating you, the way they've been moving towards you. There's some kind of decision that they're going to be making. Um, I also feel like the decision could be regarding um, the lack of stability of the connection, okay? So let's see, the Queen of Swords in reverse, what's this about? Some of you guys are in that Queen of Swords energy where you may be a little bit... I hate to say it, Cancer, but maybe you guys are a little bit bitter about this person or just you've cut them off so you have your back turned toward them. Yeah, but your person wants a new beginning. And I feel like the fact that they they think that you're not talking to them may kind of discourage them from reaching out. But I do see your person finally wanting to cut something out where there's been some stuck, stagnant energy with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And they're wanting to now um, have a new beginning, Page of Pentacles, extend an offer here. But they feel like it's not going to be in their best interest right now. The world in reverse came out twice for their energy so they feel like there's a lot of forces against them they may feel like you're not interested in the, in this new beginning like you wouldn't take their wand okay they're like here take my wand they want a new beginning here for you um regardless the sun is coming out for you cancer so there will be something here you're going to be getting some truth about okay regarding this person what's this about um we do got the two of pentacles in reverse so yeah there's a decision here cancer the ball is in your court but there is there is an energy of going back and forth or at least you guys have been going back and forth should i or should i not regarding this person and there is finally a decision that you're going to be making because you're going to finally be getting the clarity that you need to make this decision so if there's something that you've been putting off regarding the stability of this with this person you will finally be dropping something um and making a decision okay you're not going to be still going back and forth okay because cancer it's driving you crazy so the sun is telling me there's going to be some kind of clarity okay and truth all right, so that is what I have for you, Cancer. I'm going to jump over to ex uh, your extended video on Vimeo to see how does your person feel. And I will also include some unspoken love messages and healing love advice for you. And that is for February 1st through the 10th, so check it out. All right, Cancer, if you want a love reading, check me out as well. Check out my Etsy shop. Follow me on Instagram if you choose. If not, it's cool. All right, so I'll see you guys in a couple of days.